Hey guys, Rich with Rich Rebuilds here and I have the start of a new project. Yes, I'm starting another project. I know you're probably wondering, what about the other projects? Well, you know what? Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Now the first car, Dolores, was the black car that started this whole ordeal. It was a saltwater flood Tesla that I found in New Jersey and I spent six months ripping it apart. Then I purchased another car to swap all the parts over and rebuild it. And now I drive that same black car every day. The second projects were Maeve and Angela. Now Maeve was a red car that I bought that flipped over that I needed parts from. I stripped her of all the parts and then I bought a flooded car, Angela, which was a Texas flood vehicle. Lee and I stripped Angela down to put the new parts in, but then instead of putting all the parts back in Angela, well, there was a change of plans. Angela's motor now lives in an electric Porsche 911 that I codename Alpha Omega. There'll be more details on that later. So needless to say, Angela's guts are now inside of a Porsche, so I have to get another Tesla P85D with a wreck body, but a good interior and electronics to finish the Angela project. Then came Daisy. Oh, sweet Daisy, the old Disney princess car that Lee and I bought and said to ourselves, hey, instead of those old lead acid batteries, let's use Tesla batteries. So we did that drove it around, it was awesome, and then boom, it caught fire, which was totally our fault, but it made a hell of a show. Thankfully, no one was hurt except for the fanboy's feelings. So these projects take a long time because, well, I don't have much time, and I still work a full-time job, but don't let this distract you from the fact that Sam Crack still hasn't finished his Focus RS after a year. So it's no secret that I bought a Model X. I've been whining about it for the last month, and I finally got one, and actually, I like it a lot but I don't know much about it in terms of how it differs from the Model S. And I don't see too much information online about what's inside of a Model X either. So I went out on a mission to educate the user community and learn more, and I found out that a salvage Model X is really, really, really expensive, as I outlined in a prior video. But I knew I wanted one, and the interesting part was that I was listening to Guz whine about his Model X in the last video, and I noticed this. Guz, what is this beauty and why is it here? He said it was in a flood, he bought it for spare parts just in case he got into an accident with his white Model X, and that's how desperate Guz is. He bought another X to fix his main X just in case something were to happen to it, because the Model X takes a really, really long time to fix when it gets into an accident. I said, Guz, I want this for my next project. We worked out a deal, and the catch is when it's done, it has to be able to drive out of here. One of three things are gonna happen. It's either gonna be finished and sitting pretty like Dolores, blow up like Daisy, or change forms like Angela. Or I'll just all of a sudden stop talking about it like Sam's Focus RS. Anyway, this format is going to be a little different. A lot of my day one fans have been requesting that I bring things back to the old school Uncle Rich, where I just start taking things apart, figuring out what's wrong, and putting them back together. This is my first time taking apart a Model X, and it'll be more of the focus and concentrated work you all are looking for. Let's get started. All right, Cam, do me a favor. Yeah. Can you get all the plastics out of the car? Yep. And um, put them somewhere? Like maybe maybe wait near where your jacket is or something? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna film you, you're gonna be on TV. Your friends are gonna be like, oh my God, is that Cam? That's so crazy. I didn't know he worked so slow. Probably the last one too. Perfect. Nice, now I'm all set. You keep that. Just pull that open. Right here? Yeah. You pull that little thing out. You'll get it. I have faith in you. Yes. Almost. I think I opened it. There you go. Yeah, push it up. There you go. Nice job. You passed the test. You can work with me now as my apprentice. We're going to slowly work our way from the back to the front. We're gonna yeah. peel up these carpets in the back and I wanna see if there's any like residual water underneath there. So try to, actually you have gloves? Get gloves. Yeah, I'll, you want gloves? Uh, yeah, give me some gloves too. All right, stop going to town, kiddo. Should I go down here? Yeah, stop going down there and stop pulling out some of the carpets. I wanna look underneath the foot well and see what's down there in terms of like wiring and any corrosion. Down here. Oh, yuck, it's still wet. Disgusting, that's why we have gloves on. 
It's a good thing. It's not as much as yours, but yeah. It's still enough. Yeah, so that's gonna be thrown away for sure. Oh. Just put that to the side. The first thing you want to do for the back seats is take up the uh, floor trim. See this, uh, the, the floor mat? Yeah, take that up. Yeah, it's got nice ones. Yeah, that's really nice, actually. So let's see, so these seats are kind of, uh, these seats need some help. There you go, it pops right up. That side trim piece. Then pull that plastic trim off. It's tricky. Yeah, pull down and out. There you go. Nice job. I'll put it where the plastic trim stuff goes. What lies beneath? So there's not a whole heck of a lot down there. That doesn't seem too bad. But that rust, see that rust? Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, it's a lot of rust. Yeah. That's quite a bit of rust, and there's rust on that too. Then way back here in the darkness. Sorry. Cool. There you go. Come on, alligator clip. Sayonara, my friend. Look at this, perfect. Goes right down in there. Yeah. You did a good job designing that. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Elon. Yeah, good. Look at this. What? Look at that water line. I Look know, how right? clear it is. Oh my gosh. And I it know. is it touched the cage of the it MCU. Went, it touched the cage of the MCU. Wow.
you know what? This might be legal to drive before my Tesla that I bought from Tesla that's is the, legal to drive. That's the goal. Let's let's do that. Let's, let's, <laughs> it's not going to be easy, but actually, you never know. No, I mean, it might be driving, but like just not pretty. Right, but if we can get it legal, we can buy one, build it, get it ready before Elon gives me my title. All right, maybe. Go. Oh. The brain of the car now. All right, fire it up. Oh, the light's on. We yeah. got one thing works. You got something. Nope, there we go. Acceleration reduced. Car needs service. 22 miles. I gotta charge this bad boy at some point. Ugh. The fans will come on. Yeah, at least it knows what doors are open, which is good. Let's see what the error messages are. Oh. Let's get a few. Pull over, parking brake, brake not set, service reduced, car needs service, car needs service, cabin heater needs service. No, but it is playing. Just the audio is okay. Yeah. Yeah, probably love to do that, that box. Get that box out of here and see what happens. Okay. All right, let's power it down. Ready? Not bad. Not bad either. I love this tool. I'm gonna have to inventory that thing every time you come here. Okay. What? Elon never said to take that up that way. Holy crap. Woo! Chainsaw would have been easier. I think I just like twisting my body like this. Cause... Good, it's like yoga. You take yoga? I love yoga. Of course you do. You would. Oh, it's easy. Put some water residue back here, see it? Nice. That residue. All right, wanna open this bad boy up? Let's do it. Think. Think. Remember when you asked me that with the bat with the uh, high voltage battery, and I said it's gonna be good, and it wasn't. It was horrible. Right. This is gonna be good. Uh, Not so good. Yeah, it's awful, man. You were way off, guys. You were yeah, striking. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm over to. You're swinging and missing left and right. What do you think? It's a good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. Come a long way. Hmm. Hmm. Even this is rusted. Yeah. Wow. Well, guys, once again, you were wrong. That's me. So today we found the water line, we removed the rear seats and carpeting, and we manually actuated the front seats to get them to move and get them out of the way. I also removed the body control module and found out it was toast. The next episode we're going to focus on removing the MCU, due to the discoloration, remove the heater and removing the rest of the carpeting from the interior. And if time permits, I'll also see if I can remove the battery as well. Now, quick update on the Electrified Garage campaign. Over the course of the campaign, we've raised over $13,000 by the 262 people that donated to the shop. I wanted to take some time out to personally thank every one of you for your donations. Every bit has helped, and we'll be breaking ground soon. Yes, that's right. The garage will be starting construction soon, and we're hoping to have our grand opening in the spring. So you'll be seeing more updates from the garage over the next few months. And if you aren't familiar with the Electrified Garage, I'm opening a shop where we service and repair electric vehicles. Check out www.electrifiedgarage.com. The website's still a work in progress. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all soon.